Hi everyone, I'm Audrey and this is It's On. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm really glad we're all here. So today we are going to do a quintessential breakfast food. We're gonna have waffles. I've played around with this recipe quite a bit um, to find the right one. My family likes to have breakfast for dinner sometimes and so that the guys will eat uh, waffles or pancakes. And I was just looking for something that I could make for myself that I could have with them alongside them. So this is what I came up with. Um, it is really good. The one key thing about this waffle is, is you do have to let it cool a bit. So if you try to eat it when it's right off the waffle maker, it'll be a bit gummy. Uh, you always have that with the cassava flour. You gotta kinda let it settle a little bit. Um, so if you just let the heat come out just a bit, so while it's cooling and you're making other ones, by the time you're done with the whole batch, then you'll have a perfect waffle, the first waffle that you pulled out. Um, I love this with um, maple syrup and uh, berries or just syrup, <laughs> to be honest, um, or it's really great with uh, coconut whipped cream. The other good thing about this is that if you don't put the coconut sugar in the batter, um, that makes it less sweet and it's almost bread-like and so you could almost make waffle sandwiches and things like that with this type of bread as well. Um, if you have a cast iron waffle maker, that's the best way to do it. You'll notice in my video that I don't yet. The one I use, I don't recommend just because it is, it's a tea foul sort of situation. So I try not to make these very often because I don't have the proper equipment not to get some of that chemical exposure. But um, if you do, then this would be a really good recipe for you. Um, or if you still use that type of appliance and it doesn't bother you, then you're good as well. All right, well, without much more chatter, let's get cooking. Okay everyone, I'm back with the waffles. Um, I'll show you, I just put a little plate together. This is just to eat a bit. Um, I'm gonna give a taste to these. So this is the next day actually. I made these yesterday um, for the video and they actually reheat really well. They also freeze okay. So what I did was I just stick them in the fridge in a container uh, and then I re reheat them either. You can reheat them in the um, toaster oven or you can just reheat them in the microwave if you prefer that. The microwave will yield a kind of a softer, squishier. The toaster oven, you'll get a little bit of that crispness that you have um, from the waffle iron uh, as well. So your, your choice, but let's give these a try here for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Um, a few things they're a, a more dense waffle so they're not kind of the light airy not much to them waffle they're they're a dense waffle so they're quite filling you don't need a ton because they're quite filling they I think I already told you about the heat so you want to let them cool a little bit 
They're good. And then if you don't like them quite as sweet, like I said, just don't put the, the coconut sugar in the in the batter. That's not a big deal at all. Um, you can also reduce the oil in these if you're kind of anti-oil. Um, you can do one of two things. You can up the applesauce a little bit to take from the oil, um, or you can reduce the oil by half. What you'll get is, is a little bit less sort of crispy waffle. It'll be more bread-like. Um, so you can experiment with that a little bit and see what you prefer. This is the, the recipe that I gave you is kind of where I landed after several different tries. I think that this is really great. Um, it's something I'll continue to make for sure uh, for myself uh, when the guys have their pancake breakfast for dinner. So I hope you like it as much as we do and we'll see you in the next video.